video is about program numbers. Uh, program numbers begin with the letter O. And on a fanatic control, it's always a four digit number. So program numbers go from number one to 9,999. Let's have a look in the directory. So we're in the program directory here. And if you look at my programs, <clears throat> Each program's got a comment, and that program comment you write in curve brackets, um, and it has to be on the same line as the program number followed by an end of block. If you put an end of block after the program number, so if I try to um, put an end of block there, like that, when you display that program then on the directory, you'll see that there's, it doesn't say what it is. So you need to have that um, on that same line. I'll just delete that to make it visible on that screen. Yeah, so let's take a look on this hash machine. You see on the hash machine, if you add an end of block, you can even actually add two end of blocks. And then when you look into your directory, it still picks it up. So you don't need to worry about this on a hash machine. It will work perfectly fine if you've got a gap there or an end of block you know and that comment is on the next line so that only really applies to fanuc and always say what these programs are it's really important that you put a good description there and you've got a system so that you can recognize quickly what these programs are when you look at it now about the actual program numbers if we look again in the directory you'll see that what i use is I use from program one up to 99 for my main programs. So I could have 99 main programs. Obviously, there are other numbers that you can use. But the way I work it is that one to 99 is a main program. And then the 100 series programs like these here that I've got 500, 600, 607, 700 etc they're sub programs and that's how i know that the sub programs because they're just 100 series numbers so when i look at them because on a fanat control there is no difference between a main program and a sub program as far as the control is concerned it doesn't see any difference so it's up to you then to identify them you can use any number but i recommend that you don't and then down here you'll see these 9,000 series programs. So I've got 9100, 9200, etc. These programs are normally for macros and they can be protect protected by a parameter. So you can put a one in this parameter um, and by putting a one in the parameter, you will protect all these programs um, and it will stop. They won't actually be visible on this screen. So you won't even know they're there and you can't accidentally delete them. And I suggest that you do that all the while, keep those protected all the while. Now, the thing to note with these 9,000 programs is um, they are generally used for macros. Same with 8,000 series programs used for macros, um, but they could be used by your system. So if you've got auto tool measurement or you've got probing or anything like that, those cycles could be in 9000 series programs. So it's important to check that first. All you've got to do is just look at them, really. And if this program's in there and you don't know what they are, then please don't delete them. Check what they are and then don't touch those program numbers because they're obviously used by your control, your probe or your table measurement probe. Any other numbers you can use. Um, and always protect these and if you have never looked at these programs or anything and you unlock them and look at them i suggest the first thing you do is back them all up because they probably haven't been backed up there's a good chance that nobody's ever bothered to back them up so i'm just going to show you quickly how you uh, protect these 9000 series programs on a has machine so you would go to your settings page and if you search for setting 23 um then you just switch that on, really. So once you switch that on, um, you will then go to your uh, program page and you'll see that there's no 
9,000 series programs there. If I switch that off again um, and you go to that page, you can see that the 9,000 series programs are visible. So it's obviously working. It's quite quick and easy to do that. So use it all the while because you don't want to accidentally delete these programs. It is pretty serious uh, if you get rid of them. Uh, and the other thing is, as I say, when you unlock them, first thing to do is just back them all up. Make sure that you've got them all backed up. So looking at that then in the main program. So if we look, if we come back to our main program, this is main program number one. And um, that would be a uh, just a one to, to 99 is what I would use. When you call in a program, we import the letter O followed by the program number. Now, a lot of people do this and it really winds me up. They go 0002 and lower cursor to search for it. But you only need to actually put letter O, number one, search. And I know it's petty, but it is a complete waste of time. All those presses of zeros. So all you need to do is put the significant digit. So if it's program 12, you want letter O, number 12, and you'll get program 12. If I want program 500, I just go O, 500, lower cursor. I would recommend that you take your programs out of the control um, and delete them after use. That way you've got very little in the control. Keep your 9,000 series programs in the control. You have to do that um, because, and as well, if they're protected, you won't even see them. Don't forget they take up memory space as well. So if you are short of memory, it's worth looking very carefully at what these programs are for and why they are there. But don't forget you could have one, which is your tool change, and you delete that, and then you're going to have some serious problems. So don't touch these programs unless you're 100% sure what they are. It might be worth contacting your machine tool dealer or whatever to find out what they are and what they're for before you actually delete them and obviously back them up. And then if you did delete them, you've got it backed up anyway. So I suggest deleting all your programs except for these 9000 ones that are protected every time. And then that way you've got very little in the memory. You don't get confused. It forces you to keep updating your programs. So if you have edited this program, when you save it or when you delete it, you've got to say, oh, hang on, I need to update this thing on the, my computer where I store my programs. Um, you would have to do that. So um, that's a little bit about um, the uh, storage of these programs.